already some action plans to address. It's good to see uh, Native Americans very often while we encourage it. Uh, Native Americans, we don't see that many, so it's good to see them Native American participation. Absolutely. At the last board meeting, we talked about the percentage of gain and tax passing and tax amended. So this is just a graph so that you can see um, how we've increased our percentages of passing the tax in all the areas. So there has been continued growth in all areas. Then on the commended, once again, this is a graph that does include uh, not just the difference between the 2007 and the 2009, but also reflects the 2008. <coughs> uh, a lot of this is because of the curriculum that's been delivered to the students, the focus, that we're, uh, the attention that we're paying to this. Yeah, for the math line uh, is, is very impressive that you chart those red This is, this is a passion of the high school um, to keep focusing on that so we can turn up those engineers, those med majors. Those well, science, uh, although 2008 wasn't that great, uh, 2009, right. not going to come out of the park. Right. And, and I really have to give credit to uh, Krista Edmund. She's just uh, an outstanding uh, individual. Then we show our there are three levels of high school graduation, the minimum, recommended, and distinguished. We, we hope that all of our students strive for distinguished. It is more rigorous. And our collegiate high school distinguished is more rigorous than most ISDs. Um, I would match your senior capstone with anybody. So those are our graduation rates at this point in time. I'm going to turn uh, the presentation over to Betty so that he can share the financial. I had a question, uh, in regards to your graduates, what's the percentage of the people that get your scholarships? They're under innovative design, and I apologize for going back, but I wanted to find out what's the percentage. The percentage of students? Yes, that get the scholarship. Um, well, we track, we track how much the, the grant total. I don't have a number for you, but I can, I can get that, because we do keep all of that information. We'll, we'll definitely do that. Uh, we don't have that information right now, but we'll, we will provide you with the information on the number of students that actually receive the scholarships. It's, it's very high, and that's very the only achievement we'll discuss. <coughs> that's a question of the, of the total number and then of the total graduates. How many of the total graduates right. are participating in that pool? Exactly. And that's one thing that we're doing in our support classes. We're helping them with the college application and we're helping them with scholarships. And so our advisors work with diligently to help them uh, receive those scholarships. Well, we will get that information for you. I thought we heard last night. It was very high. It is, and you'll see that at the very end. Once we have, uh, Donna has mentioned that uh, most of our, all of our employees are regional college employees and we do not have any direct employees from regional college high school. We have to put some in 
internal guidelines how we can go and put that on, put that together with the original college accounting system. So basically, we uh, put together some of the highlights on those financial guidelines. On, uh, as you see, it's expenses for salaries, wages, benefits, and administrative charges for all stages. Uh, initially charged to the original college operating fund and then transferred to RCHS via contracted services on a prorated basis. Uh, this was again with the, with the conversation of communication with uh, then Commissioner Dr. Sh Shirley Neal, uh, wherein through, uh, through her and her staff we uh, were able to go ahead and do this arrangement. The uh, second thing on the question. In the information that has been provided to us, um, We've been informed that um, the money that uh, the Richmond College President received for serving as superintendent came from DCCC funds and not from um, Richmond Collegiate High School funds. Well, had the intention been to transfer that amount to the Richmond Collegiate High School budget, but because questions came up, it didn't. It didn't finalize. Uh, initially, as I mentioned, all all employees charged all salaries and wages are charged to Richmond College, and then transferred based on the eligibility to the uh, high school records. And uh, uh, in regard to this, uh, yes, those were in the first two years. Initially, in the first two years, there were no charges for uh, the deputy superintendent or the superintendent charged to the high school. But then they they would have eventually been. Transferred to Richmond Community High School. Uh, for the third year of last year, as of August 31st, uh, no charges have been um, charged to the RCHS. Um, now, if we go further, the expenses which are directly related to RCHS, for example, supplies, equipment, and other RCHS operating charges are charged directly to the RCHS. The third concept on that is the delivery of the credit course instructions charged to our teachers based on current credit hour tuition rates. Some of the uh, financial highlights about these RC agencies. The TEA state funds are used solely to support our CHS functions. Uh, basically, we have two sources of revenue for our functioning of our CHS. One is the TEA state funds. Uh, which we receive through average daily attendance, known as the ADA funds, and the second is the small amount which we receive from the investment. Um, in the initial years, we did receive funds from TEA on the Sabbath, and that was a grant. Um, and subsequently, that grant went away, and we were using TEA funds specifically just for our stages functions. Generally accepted accounting principle on GAAP guidelines require that our CHS financial information should be included with that of the which means that all the financial information for the RCHS is included in all the financial uh, information for the Dallas County Community College District. TEA gave RCH an excellent financial rating of meat standard for fiscal year 2007 2008. Um, and um, we have received that uh, from TEA. There are actually three, three standards. Substandard or those who are being uh, not meeting the standard. So yeah, we have met that excellent standard of meeting meet standards uh, criteria for 2007 to That's the highest. That's the highest that you can get. Yes. Um, in fiscal year 2008 2009, we're expecting to add about $270,000 to our fund balance for our CHS. Uh, again, what, what balance is that of the total? Uh,